Our cities are getting hotter and experts caution it's more than climate change driving temperatures up. Build more buildings and you take away green spaces, particularly a lot of, you know, trees are mis gone and then we don't put enough back and so on. Um, pollution can increase. With increasing population, it just can compounding the problem. Researchers from around the globe are working on a solution. They met at a symposium in Adelaide recently, deciding the key is better urban design with less concrete and more green spaces. The way we build our cities is not necessarily the best way in terms of dealing with heat. Hopefully the event will inform policymakers as well as designers, planners and anybody who's involved in uh, making our cities better. Energy networks are expected to struggle under increased loads as more city dwellers try to stay cool. The impact is you know not just about immediate comfort but there's a long-term impact on people as well as on the built environment itself. I mean studies have shown that the uh, heat, extreme heat or, or ex extreme cool, cold um, do impact on people's health and increase more mortality and morbidities. Beating urban heat requires more than city planning. Experts say cooling measures should be accounted for in residential construction and on a daily basis we can all play a part. The skin of the building, the envelope, uh, which is, rep is represented by the walls and the windows of the building, they need to be high high performing. So the walls need to be well insulated, the windows need to uh, be advanced glazing so that we don't have to have great big air conditioning systems to service those uh, detached houses or apartments to keep them thermally comfortable. The way we tackle this issue is not just by us, you know, sort of designers, experts, researchers, it's all uh, integrated. I mean, it's everybody has a role to play. You know, just the way we live, uh, the way we go to work, you know, it, I think we need to rethink. Can we reduce our impact by, say, taking more public transport rather than driving? You know, all those things that people know about. Emily Burley, Sky News, Adelaide.